All right, we got about 20 feet, and I know that these irons have a gigantic colt following, and now I can... Ashley for birdie. Man, you are reading the greens really well today. Do you know how much these golf clubs are? The one thing is, um, oh, any $10, please. $10. All right, folks, welcome back. Today we've got a bunch of stuff. We've got thrift stores, we've got flea markets. You might hit up a couple of garage sales, but never know what you're yeah. going to find, so... Let's go find it. Let's go find it. Starting off today at the Goodwill. I stopped because I saw this Callaway uh, Golf sunglasses case, but Ashley spotted the Pyrex Queen and spotted a snowflake Pyrex down there. That's one of your uh, favorites, right? Mm-hmm. It's like one of the classic ones. The classic ones? I don't have that one yet. We'll have to uh, see how much that is going for, and we'll check out the golf clubs here in a second. <laughs> Thank you. I have been looking for that pattern everywhere. It's not super uncommon, but it's one that I don't have. It's like one of the classic ones. So, well, now that we're distracted by that, let's get to the golf clubs. All right, Pyrex in hand, and I've got a <laughs> broken, I think this is like a, a Sonar Tech uh, knockoff there. But it was just sitting on the top. Let's see if there's anything else in here for us. Looks like we got a full set of these uh, Master Fit irons. There used to be a Master Fit driving range in Jacksonville, not mm -hmm. too far away from here. What else do we got? We got a Spalding Cashin putter. We got a Ping ISI uh, knockoff. Or the more hip steel uh, head cover. Yeah. What else do we got over here? We got some Tommy Armor 845s. We find those all over the uh, place. We just found a, a full set of pawn shop that was missing like a nine iron of pitching wedge. Yeah. So if that's in there, we might pick that up. Complete that set. What else do we got in here? We got some Jumbo BSX from Trident Golf, a Lancer putter. Huh. I think the coolest thing in terms of the golf clubs is the uh, Tommy Armors and the uh, Sonar Tech uh, knockoff. <laughs> But I will let you know if it ends up being a uh, pitching wedge and a nine iron, like we said. Yeah. But uh, if not, Ashley got the day started off right with, you, with the Pyrex. <laughs> All right, it didn't end up being a full set of those Tommy Armors, yeah. and then they didn't have the uh, same shafts as the other ones, so we passed on those. But the next stop is the flea market. Lots of vendors out here today. Twenty dollars. Is that like a bop it thing? What is that? It's like a yeah. kid's toy, obviously. Yeah, I think it just moves around. That would be awesome if it was a bop it. Yeah, I forget what those things are called. They're kind of like her. They have them on, oh look at these, it's like a golf grip on a uh, umbrella. Drizzle stick. We found one of those like, uh, a while ago and then someone commented that their neighbor was the person who yeah. invented it. I love the name, it makes me laugh every Drizzle time. stick every time. Take it down. Yeah, I'll take a look at it. Thank you. Yep. A lot of people have. People told me things they're looking for, I might have it. See that Adam's baggage. It's pretty cool. Uh -huh. It's pretty perfect for my dad. It's super light. It's got a place for? A place for his butter. Oh, there's some wedges over here yeah, too. Yeah, Cleveland. Cleveland 588 and then a Cleveland CG11. Yeah. How much are the clubs? Ten. Ten bucks a piece. Can you do 20 for the two and then the bag? What's that? Can you do 20 for the two clubs in the bag? Yep. Cool. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Did you have any other clubs for sale, or those yours? No, just the kids. Okay, cool. Thank you. Well, those are my granddaughter. She's about as interested in it as nothing about it. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's worth a try. Thank yeah. you. Well, check these out. These are new. I think these are like mini shops that you can uh, rent out. Mini shop number two. Mini shop number two. There you go. Stacked uh, Golf Future Headquarters. I think it's only eight dollars to rent a table out here. Yeah. One day we should do that. Yeah, that, that one's upgraded. <laughs> yeah, this is upgraded. It's pretty cool. It's like almost like a storage unit at the same time. This look worth look. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's just storage. Oh, there is a light though. Yeah. There is a yeah, there is a plug. There is a plug in there. Mm -hmm. that's what, what do they want? They're rent. They're rent those up. Oh, that first one right there, she rented out. Uh, oh. The, uh, the other one's available, and they both have electric. What's this? How much rent? Don't quote me, I think she said a buck and a quarter a month, but I'm not positive. And it's cheaper does. than storage it is. <laughs> it doesn't include the rent here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. So you still, you know, if you want to use this spot. You have to rent it. Or, yeah. Future headquarters of Stack Golf in a little storage unit. Everybody will know and they could pierce the steel roof and uh, steal all the clubs. <laughs> yeah. But uh, definitely some good stuff at the uh, flea market today. Got a Cleveland 588 yeah. wedge, a Cleveland CG 11 wedge, and then the Callaway bag for my dad. I feel like we bought my dad a million cart bags and yeah. you need to find he's like goldilocks you need to find the perfect one i wasn't gonna say it but i was thinking it. yeah this one's lighter than most stand bags but it's cart bags so hey. off to a good start this might be the coolest thing i've ever seen it's like a 75 year old dude listed to eminem meanwhile 
We're just listening to Willie's Roadhouse. Yeah, we got Willie's Roadhouse <laughs> on over here. All right, next stop is City Thrift, and it looks like they're having a giant 50% off sale. What day is that? October 11th. We'll be back for that. This is where we found the uh, Callaway XR driver, so mm -hmm. see if we can't find anything good today. Thank you. You're welcome. Looks like they've got some new clubs in, or at least they moved them around. Yeah, these ones have been here for a while. I got that Ram bag. Oh, we got a uh, King Cobra SS offset uh, three wood. And a King Cobra head cover. Oh, there you go. <laughs> a perfect match. <laughs> I don't know. How much is that? I think they're usually like $2.98. We'll uh, go and uh, inquire about that, yeah. but I think that might be the uh, only new club that they have here. Got a, uh, well, that's a kind of a, like a Ben Hogan Shiro kind of style wedge. Mm -hmm. What else do we got over here? Well, I think we're going to uh, end up with the Cobra. There we go. The one new club. We found it. <laughs> ah, well, they didn't let us get the Cobra because it didn't have a price tag on it. Although every other club in there was $2.98. But we did manage to get a uh, Bayern Munich shirt there. In my size. In Ashley's size. <laughs> Ashley's got the uh, good finds today. But uh, <laughs> yeah. let's see if we can't chain. Well, continue that yeah. and chain at the same. We'll meet you in the next spot. Yeah. yeah, we'll add me in. <laughs> All right, next flea market. Ashley has spotted some golf clubs. I don't know what, when it rained, but it rained hard <laughs> over here for yeah. sure. Got five dollars each on these ones or some other clubs over here. There's a lefty uh, Tommy Armor. Let's go check out the other ones. I think I saw a set of Australian blades. Yeah, Max Fly Australian blades. This is a full set. I think these are the uh, Phil Mickelson Yonix. Yeah, it's a Phil Mickelson Yonix uh, wedge. Hello, how are you guys? Good. How are you? Another beautiful day. Yeah. Like okay. Did it rain hard here for a while? Oh my goodness. Yeah, yes. we were driving around, haven't seen any, and then all yeah. of a sudden there's giant puddles. puddles. Couple hours, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. and this over there. oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh-huh. I think this is a full set. Two, where, where's the three? As I say that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no. Is it? Yeah, it's a full set. I know you guys love it when I just count out all the clubs. <laughs> but uh, Maxfly Australian blades are, those are super cool. If you guys can see my face, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh -huh. But I think you said there's some more clubs over there we'll have to ask. The boardroom. <laughs> Oh wow, there's a ton of clubs actually. I always wonder where he gets all of his stuff because he works here like during Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The other days. The other days. <laughs> Math and yeah. days of the week. <laughs> Dude, he's grinding for sure. We'll uh, ask him how much those uh, Australian blades are. Those yeah. things are super cool. Did you see the telephone? The what? The golf bag telephone. Gonna oh yeah, that's cool. You're finding all the good stuff today. <laughs> golf bag, uh, telephone right here. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> oh, look at the, uh, the numbers are golf balls. <laughs> uh, let's see how much we can get those blades for. Do you know how much these golf clubs are? You want singles? Um, or any $10 a piece. $10 a piece? Do you know how much it would be if we got, so this is like a set right here, it's like two iron all the way down to the pitching wedge? Take it whatever you like it, negative. Okay. Yeah, I saw those ones. Thank you. So those guys right there. Thank you so many clubs. I think nine. And now you give me 70. 70? Yeah. Two please. See that's pitching. Okay. Uh, I'll think about it. Right, thank you. Because it's ten dollars piece, I give it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. The same as you give me. All in the same collection, you know. Yeah. All is the same name. Mm -hmm. That costs money, you know. Yeah. You want to do sixty? The best I can do. Thinking about. Yeah, think about it. Yeah, I can do sixty. All right, folks, made it out to the golf course. Excited to try everything out. We tried to stay as calm as possible during the negotiation. It almost worked. It almost worked, but the price instantly went $5 a club to $10 a club. We buy stuff from them all the time, yeah. so they could tell that we are excited. But we ended up getting a pretty good deal, but excited to try them out. Like I said, first hole here is 317 yards. It's a dogleg to the right, mm -hmm. and Ashley is our... Uh, 
designated putter yeah, today. I tweaked my neck giving Tater Tot a bath, but I'm actually really happy that's the only injury I can report because normally I'm covered in scratches. Yeah, Tater Tot or a cat is usually pretty feisty when we're giving <laughs> uh, a bath, but Ashley tweaked her neck, but yeah. we should be okay. World's greatest putter. Got it's some Australian putt. blade iron, some wedges. Let's see what we can do. 317 yards. Hopefully I can put one in the fairway. Well, higher than I thought I was going. Yeah, well that is one of the highest blades I've ever seen John hit. We'll go over the eBay prices at the end, so stay tuned for that. But I think he's got about 150 yards left in. He's going with the 8 iron. Wow. That ball was in the air for an hour. Yeah, I know. I was, was like, crazy. did I miss it? <laughs> throw some dirt on that one yeah <laughs> again this is probably one of the highest blades i've ever seen john hit and looking at it i have no idea how it's possible also i'm kind of happy i'm not hitting this because it doesn't look fun <laughs> it's kind of small but yeah. it feels really good and that that literally is the highest blade i've ever hit i'm probably sure probably yeah. sure that's probably english sure. oh, it's australian maybe <laughs> world's greatest putter come back come back come back oh what a putt we actually just brought that putter out of retirement i used that one in high school yeah just brought it out of retirement. It's the uh, Ping Answer 2X, one of my favorites. Still good. I think I've mentioned that a thousand times. Well, I would say that a lot of things are my favorites. But yeah, this is one of his favorites. This is one of my actual favorites. <laughs> but next hole is about 170 yards. I have no idea what I'm going to hit. Those things go so high. Yeah. Luckily, there's no wind today. Mm -hmm. Nice putt. Thanks. Ended up going with a seven iron there, but I don't know what it is. Every single one of these shots just makes me laugh because the ball goes so high that you're just yeah. like waiting an hour for it to land. And then when it finally so does. I like you. I'm just like, I think that I miss it because I'm the one zooming. So I'm like, uh-oh. Oh, also we got a new camera. So if we like instantly look way better or way worse and That's the zooms why. are off. Hopefully not way worse. It's my fault. I chose the camera, but uh, let's go see if Ashley can't uh, knock that one in for yeah. birdie. It's just like, you never like expect it to go that high. No, that's why I just, it was. It's funny. I agree. I laugh it with is. it too. It is. Giggling like a little girl. <laughs> I am, not Ashley. Ashley for birdie. Man, you are reading the greens really well today. I was just like, why are you putting it out that far that all of a sudden it just breaks back at the end? <laughs> it's almost like you're the world's greatest putter. Or I'm like willing it there. <laughs> yeah, you're willing it using the force. No. Speaking of the force, I hope your neck feels better because we're going to Disney pretty soon. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be riding any roller coasters. No roller coasters for you? <laughs> no. All right, let's see if this uh, putt is a roller coaster. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Oh man, that was a vicious lip out. Also, the pins are pink. Yeah, I think it's for October uh, breast cancer month. Breast cancer month? Sweet. Yeah. All right, next hole, we gotta make a birdie. I failed you, I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't leave you with the uh, easiest of putt, a 70 footer, but I think the next hole I'm going with the two iron. If it's as easy to hit as the short iron. <laughs> these might be your new clubs. These might be your new clubs, for sure. <laughs> That's definitely my new putter. Your new old putter. My new old putter, for sure. Yeah. Yes. I literally did not hit that good at all. Hit it way off the top of the face. Got it a little bit heavy, but it went dead straight, and I think it went a pretty good distance. I'll definitely need to uh, fill that divoted. Kind of embarrassing with a uh, two iron. It's like a Sergio three wood, but I uh, have no idea how long it's going to be. Longer than it should be, but these irons, I gotta say, these are the easiest to hit blades that I've ever hit in my entire life. All right, we got about 20 feet, and I know that these irons have a gigantic Colt following, and now I can see why, but let's see if we can uh, make up for the three putt on the last hole. <laughs> my bad. That was my bad. I put you a little bit too far away, but let's see if we can't knock this one in. Here we go. World's greatest putter. Oh, oh that thing broke so hard at the end. That was a really good stroke. We're going to have to fight over that putter. I don't know why I said it was mine. I know. That's why it's from high school, but I think I'm going to be borrowing it. <laughs> borrow, yeah, we can borrow it together. But uh, that one's a tap in. Even for me, next yep. hole is about 170 yard par three. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling confident with these irons. Me too. Hold them one time. Hold them one time. <laughs> Luckily, we got the zoom. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Control the giggle. <laughs> All right, starting to get the distances dialed in. That was 174 yards. I went with a six iron, and it is 
pretty much exactly four yards uh, too far. Yeah. These things are 20 years old and they literally go the same distance as my irons. Way higher ball flight and probably a little bit easier to hit too. But let's see if uh, Ashley can't, uh, this one's pretty good. It's like, what is that, 15 feet? Yeah, it's doable. I just did yardage and now I'm saying 15 feet. Luckily the uh, math converts. <laughs> cool. We'll do meters because they're Australian. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, the math probably isn't correct. Well, that is looking good. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Man, the greens are breaking super hard today. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's go take a look at those irons, the exact specifications, because even I'm curious about them. Yes. We can spy from afar. It's feeding all the ducks. It's literally the only reason that we bought a camera. Nature. Nature. We just had another scene, but everything was out of focus. We'll play that at the end. It was kind of funny. Look at him shaking the little tail feathers. Nature. All right, folks, here is a closer look at all of the clubs that we got. I realized that I didn't miss a green, so we did not use, use uh, one of the wedges. Yeah, but I, I think you've hit enough yeah, Cleveland wedges. Yeah, we've hit wedges. the uh, Cleveland wedges a bunch of times. <laughs> the Cleveland CG11s are super soft, but the uh, finish wears out pretty quick. And then Cleveland 588, an all-time classic. Yes. I think pretty much every uh, pro player used those for a long time. Mm -hmm. Tiger used them. VJ used them. They're very good. That's those good. are two pros, so two pros use them Check. but here are the australian blades the mct 97 there are a bunch of different models of the australian blades and i only saw one of this exact model sold on ebay and it was i think it was like 570 dollars but it was in the uk and the prices over there are a little bit higher than uh, normal but yeah. still that's kind of crazy and there were some other models that went for like 700 there's some that went for way less like 100 or 150 but i gotta say yeah, I think we got a good deal and you really like them. Yeah, so those are the win. easiest to hit blades that I've ever hit in my entire <laughs> life. Usually the only reason I don't play a full set of blades is I don't hit the ball high enough. And that's definitely not a problem. Problem solved. Yeah, problem solved for sure. <laughs> but uh, also, you want to, we already said the ping putter, right? Yeah, that's yours. Yeah. Ping answer 2x. It's good. But I hope you guys did like this video. If you did, hit like button and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, look at that. Literally not going to lie, I got this camera just for this. Nature. Nature over oh, there. Oh, oh, did I miss it? They're fighting. Nature. Oh, there's a, oh, it's a hawk up there.